Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you another updated video. Uh, this one is how to create your Alexa custom skill uh, and set it up to work with Intense Scripts in Home Assistant. I don't know if you saw my last video on uh, Emulated Hue, which is great for turning devices on and off with Alexa. This one gets a little bit more detailed where you can ask Alexa information and she will respond with pretty much whatever you want her to say uh, as long as you build out the uh, script to do that. Again, this is just a different way to work with Alexa and it's designed more for you to really get uh, a lot of information from her other than just turning devices on and off. So let's get started. All right, so let's see here. Uh, just to kind of run down what all we're gonna do in this video, we're going to uh, create our custom skill uh, and then secondly, we're going to add the Alexa component uh, in our uh, Home Assistant configuration as well as uh, we are going to add the intent scripts. And then lastly, we are going to uh, test those intent scripts out and kind of show you how that works with Alexa. Just to give you an idea of what I'm building this intent script to do, I'm going to set it up to where I can ask Alexa to tell me what my current download speed or upload speed is at my house. So, I mean, this is just uh, an example of how you can use use the uh, custom intent scripts to do stuff. Uh, there's obviously, you know, an endless number of things that you can do with it. So I thought this was kind of a cool way to show you how this works. All right, so let's get started with creating our custom skill. So we are going to log on to the Amazon developer website. That's a free login. And uh, in fact, if you already have an Amazon account that you use for, you know, whatever, buying stuff online, you're uh, certainly able to just uh, use that as well to log into the developer site. So once we get logged in, we are going to click on Alexa. And then we'll say Alexa Skills Kit up here at the top. And then next, uh, we'll just say Start a Skill. And this will bring up the uh, forms that we all have to fill out in order to set up the new skill that we're creating. All right, so let's give it a name. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, I think uh, I'm just gonna call it Home Assistant. Now the invocation name is a little bit different. This is how you're going to uh, ask Alexa to communicate with Home Assistant. So I call mine Jarvis. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, obviously you can call it whatever you want, but uh, the way that'll work is I'll say Alexa, ask Jarvis to do this and then she'll respond with uh, whatever I ask her to do. All right, let's go ahead and set up our intent schema. So like I said, we're gonna do one for download speed and one for upload speed. So let's go ahead and get those added in there. It's pretty easy to set up and I'll uh, copy and paste this in the description so you can kind of see what those look like. Let's see, intense. Indent a little bit here. call it we're gonna call this one download speed let's see put a comma there and then we'll uh, do uh, open brackets again Call this one upload speed. And 
and that's it for the two that we've set up. So we're gonna scroll down here a little bit. And utterances. This is where we wanna put in the utterances for those two intents that we created. So you, uh, we'll, we'll call it download speed. And I'm just gonna throw out some phrases here. Download speed. Uh, current download speed. Basically, as long as I have that phrase in, in my question to Alexa, I should be able to get a response. We'll do the same thing for upload speed. go ahead and save that just so I don't lose anything in case uh, something happens. Let's go ahead and move over to the next section. All right, so now we're in the configuration area. So we're going to use HTTPS. And of course, uh, this is where we put in our, uh, this is our public domain name for Home Assistant. Uh, this will have to include our API key. We can leave most of the rest of this uh, to be default. Go ahead and say next. If you're using Let's Encrypt, you can just uh, click on that first one there that says uh, that it has a uh, certificate supplied by a cert authority. Uh, if you're not and you're using a self-signed certificate, you uh, can do that as well. You would click the one down at the bottom and then you would upload a copy of your key. This is okay, so we're gonna go ahead and say next through this. All right, so we're gonna fill out all this information. Uh, I mean, this is mainly just for you since you're the only one that's really gonna be testing it, so you can put whatever information you want in here. But for the most part, I think all these fields pretty much have to be filled out in order for you to be able to use the skill. Filling in all these blanks here. Custom skill for home assistant. Give it a skill description. I'm just going to type the same thing that I typed in the short description here. All right, so example phrases. Again, you can put whatever you want. You're really the only one that's going to be using it, um, but they expect you to fill all this out, I guess, if you were going to use it for testing with an actual group of people, then you'd want all this information in there to help them use the skill. We'll just say Alexa, ask Jarvis what the current download speed is. Now Alexa, ask Jarvis what the current upload speed is. And I, I have to have something for the third line, so I'm just gonna repeat the same thing. All right, so we got all those done. Let's, uh, we gotta have an image for our app or our skill. <clears throat> and in the link I have provided uh, by Home Assistant, uh, they have links to these images that you can download and use for this right here. All right, so I think we got just about everything filled out here.
All right, this is the uh, privacy and compliance. So we're just gonna say mo no for most of these here. Like I said, most of the defaults will work. I think we got just about everything filled out here. So now we are ready to move over to our Home Assistant configuration and do some uh, configuration there. So let's start by adding in the Alexa component. There's not a lot as far as setting up the Alexa part of the Alexa component. So basically all you really have to have is just Alexa, that's it. That's so we're gonna say Alexa colon, and that is it. All right, let's add intent scripts. All right, so like I said, that Alexa component went pretty quick. All you had to do is put Alexa. So this one, we're gonna add in a couple of lines here, but because I'm using uh, intent scripts uh, as a separate file and not part of my configuration.yaml, obviously I have to go in here and basically tell, just like I do anything else, I'm gonna point it at the file where my intent scripts are. So we'll add that line in here. And then next, I'm going to actually edit the uh, intent scripts.yaml file. All right, so we're gonna add a few lines here at the top. I'm gonna call this one download speed, just like we did on the uh, custom skill. Make sure that you have the spelling and everything to be the same as you did on the uh, custom skill as well because you want everything to line up correctly. The type is gonna be plain. In the text, this is what I want Alexa to tell me. So let's see, the current download speed is and I wanted to pull that information from the sensor so I'm gonna add this in here state sensor fastcom underscore download because that's the name of my sensor and I just wanted to finish out that sentence so we'll say megabits per second all right, and the second part of that is going to be our upload speed intent. So it's basically going to be set up the exact same way. Uh, the type will again will be plain. The current upload speed is Speed test underscore upload. And just finish it megabits per second. All right, so now we can escape from here and save it. Uh, go ahead and restart Home Assistant for our changes to take effect. Pseudo system CTL restart home dash assistant. Give that a second to come back up. All right, let's move back over to our um, Amazon developer site and test out our intent scripts. All right, so if it works here, it's gonna work with Alexa. I mean, as simple as that. So we're gonna type in one of our utterances here. We'll say download speed. It's gonna ask Home Assistant. And then look, you can see it's already got the information in there. We'll go ahead and hit play so you can see what that sounds like. 
The current download speed is 97.9 megabits per second. Pretty cool. We can do the same thing for upload speed. We'll say upload speed. Bam. Hold in all the information as we can see there. We'll go ahead and listen again. The current upload speed is 26.23 megabits per second. Awesome. Very cool, very cool. That is the end of this tutorial. Like I said, once you get that part set up and you tested it and everything tests well, you're good to go. Uh, we'll run back down through the list of things that we did here. We, um, we created our custom skill. Uh, let's see, we uh, added in our Alexa component. We also uh, added our intent scripts. And lastly, of course, we uh, tested out our intent scripts to see what those sounded like. So, all right, guys, uh, there's the tutorial. I hope this will help you guys get your um, custom skills created and set up for Home Assistant. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up down below in the comments. And if there are any other videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have uh, set up, again, let me know. I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.